Here we have a PowerPoint slide with a picture of a happy couple in the foreground and a blurred house in the background. As is, we really don't know why the couple is so happy, but if I advance the slide, notice what happens. The image of the couple blurs and the picture of the house in the background sharpens, drawing the audience's attention away from the couple and onto the house. If I advance the slide again, now it is clear why what these slides are trying to communicate. The text clarifies the shifts in the focus of the images. Advancing the slide again? Oh, well, this is an advertisement. Controlling where the audience looks can be a very effective strategy depending on your presentation's needs, and this effect can be easily created in PowerPoint. So to show you that, let me create a brand new presentation. And I'm just going to be using blank slides here. Now the first thing that we need are two images, one of that's going to be the background and one image that's going to be the foreground. So let's insert our pictures. I'm going to use that house image again, resize it so it fits the full size of the slide. And now we need that picture that's going to appear in the foreground, which in this case is going to be our happy little couple. And I'm going to resize this just a little bit. And obviously the white background is not going to work, so I'm going to remove that white background by using the Remove Background tool in PowerPoint. So on my Picture Tools Format tab in the Adjust group, if I click on Remove Background, I can resize the frame and then choose what areas I want to keep. I want the guy's shirt, definitely. Let me zoom in a bit so I can see what's going on. Make sure all of his shirt is showing. And the rest of the image looks good. All right, keep changes. And zoom out. And maybe make them a little bit meh. Let's go about there. Now that I have my two images set and sized where I want them to go, I want to duplicate the slide. So now I've got two copies of the exact same slide, but we're not done yet. Going back to slide one, first I want the image of the background of the house to be slightly blurry. So I need to select that image, and if I go to my Picture Tools Format tab, and in the Picture Styles group, if I click that More, that Format Shape Dialog Box Launcher, click that button. Here is my Format Picture Dialog Box. And on the picture corrections area, at the very top, you should see options for sharpen and soften. And I'm going to soften this photo by 30%, and I can use either the slider or I can use the up and down arrows to adjust that. So as you can see, it just makes the background a little softer, blurry. Once I have that, and close and go to the next slide. Now I want to do the opposite. I want to make the picture in the foreground or that happy couple blurry. So same thing. Um, this time I'm going to right click and go to format picture. And this one I'm going to soften by, oh, let's say 30%. So going back and forth between the two images, you can kind of see it's a very subtle change, but it is there. And right now, if I go to Slideshow View and go to the first slide, this is what it looks like when I advance. It just jumps to that blurry image, which I don't really don't want. I want it to be kind of a soft or a fade. So selecting Slide 2, if I go to my Transitions tab and choose Fade, now when I run Slideshow, it slowly transitions to that second slide, so the blur looks a little more subtle. Now, one final element on the second slide, and that is my text that clarifies what's happening with the animations or the transition. So I'm going to add a rectangle, and I'm just going to color that black for now. And then adjust the size of the text and the position, maybe on that side. And I could also do th something like adjust the transparency of that object to make a little bit more of the background stand out. 
There we go. And maybe maybe I don't want that border around the box. No, no outline. There we go. And since I don't want this rectangle to appear with the slide, I'm going to add an animation to that object. Just a simple fade will do. And on click. And now when I run the presentation, there's the first slide. Advance to the second slide. You can kind of see how the focus changes. And then bring on that text box. So that is one way that you can change the focus or where the audience is looking at a slide in PowerPoint.